Today, my viewers stand united behind one goal, to join my private lobby and stop me from winning a match at all costs. This means 59 players will be going out of their way to attack me. Can I overcome this and take a crown? Let's find out. Winning in a normal lobby is one thing, but it doesn't help that I'm about to get grabbed by every nearby player. Oh my god! <laughs> There's no way! So the challenge basically becomes, how do I avoid getting grabbed? And one way is to stay in the air as much as possible, like in this section where everyone jumps down the ramps. Sometimes the track will split into two paths, which makes it more difficult for everyone to focus on me and know where I am. So I take the outside, since I expect less people to be there, and I cleared round one on my first try. Easy. Easy money. The next round, Speed Circuit, actually went really well until the second lap. Then I realized how difficult this challenge was actually going to be. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh no! It's still crazy that I made it to round 2 on my first try though. So this is pretty much how things went for a while. In fact, here's a few of the funniest fails I had while streaming this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> No! I am just standing here. <laughs> this is literally this game mode. Oh! <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Eventually, I began to make some real progress. It all started when I was able to clutch at the last second in Hit Parade. Oh, I'm close. Boost me up, boost me up, boost me up. <gasps> oh, I was so close. Yes! Let's f***ing go! <laughs> Let's go! Sorry, I'm gonna try not to curse that much on stream, <laughs> but that was incredible. Then I did the same thing in Track Attack. Yes! And in Ski Fall. I'm unstoppable. It's final time, baby. We made it to the final. So I qualified with less than a second to spare three times in the same match. Before I knew it, I had made it to the final for the first time. Lost Temple is the perfect final for this challenge, because if I get grabbed or slowed down, the people up front will pick the wrong doors and give me time to catch up. Guys, if I win here, then you're bad. Somehow, I made it to the front of the pack, and I'll just let this moment speak for itself. No way. No way. No! <laughs> I second-guessed myself! Even after that mistake, I began to gain momentum and make some deeper runs. In the very next attempt, I had a close call on Gate Crash, where I got grabbed right before crossing the finish line. Nice. Nice! Ooh, that was close. Something I noticed here is that the grabber let me go early, because they wanted to qualify themselves. If they held on to me a little longer, we both would have gotten eliminated, but their spirit was weak. Then I beat one of the most difficult levels in this challenge, Tail Tag. In theory, everyone could just follow me around and take my tail whenever I got one, but moving to different sides of the map made it so the viewers were less coordinated. Just make sure I'm just always moving around, because if I get a whole swarm around me, then that's gonna be bad. The reason why this is important is because when I do grab a tail, there's less people keeping track of me. Okay, we'll go for one of these. Nice. Eventually, they start to catch on. I had to jump directly over someone, then swerve up this ramp to make the grabbers run into each other. Then I dropped under the ramps where it was harder to see me. With four seconds left, I dove directly into someone to catch them off guard, and they missed their final grab. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! If I got past this bounce party, I'd be in the final with only five other people, giving me my best chance of winning so far. But I fell short by one hoop. No way, no way, no way. I was one hoop away. That was a critical error, but I had another plan to squeeze out the win. See, as the owner of the lobby, you can choose between different playlists, and this gives me some control over which minigames are selected. We're gonna try Slime Survivors. So I don't have to like qual early, I just have to survive. Rollout was definitely the most fun minigame for this challenge, as the whole bomb tried to chase after me and push me off. Look at this absolute mob. The paparazzi is on me right now. At least, it was fun until this happened. Okay, wow, that's a bad idea. I should not be there, I should not be there, I should not be there. Oops. <laughs> 
I saw it coming too. I had this moment of realization like, oh, that's bad. Then I tried the extreme playlist, where falling off the level gets you eliminated instead of respawning. My plan here is to increase the skill level required to qualify, because few people can match my skill level. Wow, so many people are dying, look at that. This playlist worked really well at first, as someone stalling near the finish line got what they deserved. Well, it's gotta time you out eventually, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're dead. You're dead, buddy. <laughs> you're dead. However, this plan backfired on me when someone landed a perfectly timed grab as I was about to jump on a seesaw. See, that one just caught on. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot it eliminates you. At this point, I had to start playing dirty. So I activated the Slime Climb Time playlist, which sends everyone through one of the hardest levels in Fall Guys twice in a row before the final. Oh, look at all those eliminations. I love it. Getting past the end, though, is going to be the real challenge. Despite everyone trying to grief me at the finish line, I managed to make it through both times and progress to the final once again. We've got this. The griefer's at the spawn! The griefer's at the spawn! No, 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 yes! <laughs> wow, they all waited. This time we got Hexagon, which is huge because it's the final I'm most skilled at, but something I realized is that my individual skill only goes so far when everyone goes out of their way to grab me and cut me off. Let's get this guy. We're gonna have to start being aggressive. There we go. Oh, that's so bad. I could have been really good there. On the final floor, this pink bean removed the only pathway I had to the rest of the tiles, so I had no choice but to accept my fate. Can I make it? No, not with that one gone. Womp <laughs> womp. I even tried the playlist where it's only the final minigames, like Hexagon and Thin Ice, but overcoming a final while everyone targeted me seemed impossible. However, I had one more trick up my sleeve. As the owner of the lobby, you don't have to wait for the lobby to fill all the way up. Instead, you can start it when it hits the minimum of 10 players. Now you might be thinking, that's a really cheap way to get the win, but I was determined to make this happen one way or another. When I started the lobby with 10 players, I expected to have one race course, then a final with the 6 people that qualified. This way, we're gonna end up with only 6 people in the final, and that's gonna be the best chance I have. But in reality, it made us do five levels as we gradually eliminated one or two players at a time. Even with only five players on speed circuit, I had a really close call here at the end. Wow, did you see how close that other guy is? Look at him. Eventually, I found myself in a 1v1 on the Swiveller. Although I could technically keep trying with 10 players, I decided that if this last guy was able to beat me, then the viewers officially win. I struggled at first, but I could taste victory. Wow, that was close. Oh my goodness. There's no way I lose here. It is just not foretold. The last three hours would finally culminate with me getting a crown while everyone tried to stop me. After all, there's no way I could lose here.